hi guys i'm gonna walk you through the watchlist module here in go charting this is my eighth attempt to make this video i hope i get it right so if uh, the watchlist happens to be one of the apps in our go charting app store so if you are logged in which i am right you can go to watchlist uh click on it and then uh this is what you should see right this is a typical watch list where you can add anything you want any of the symbols so i'm going to add btc usd from coinbase and uh, btc usdt from binance right so these are three liquid markets so i'm subscribed to that uh on the top there are three fields symbol ltp and change percentage so i can click on any one of these and sort it i can choose the fields i want from this uh wide array of fields to choose from so i can choose for example open if i want or i personally like the default one which is change so i'm going to revert back to change uh, i can bookmark uh, the ones which I think are important to me. I can right click on them and unbookmark bookmark. I can uh, Launch this uh, chart directly from here. I could delete it uh, I could probably just go ahead and delete the watch list uh, Delete the field the symbol from my watch list all of that is possible and once I do that I'm going to save my watch list from here so that these changes are saved in the cloud So next time when I log in I see it exactly the way I left it uh, I could do a lot of other things. I can create a new watch list, uh, which we, for example, if I, so, so you're going to have this panel and you can enter a name and create your own watch list. You could say, uh, you could export the watch list. Uh, so for example, if I click on here, it is going to open up a spreadsheet, which is going to have all of these fields that I'm seeing in here, right? So this is the download button, export the watch list other than that i could import i could use this and literally import a file from my desktop and it would uh, move into here and the typical format in which it is uh, it should be provided is one it should be a text file and uh, it should not have any columns it just should have the names uh, of the symbols and the format is exchange colon symbols so for example in this case it would be coinbase colon btc usd in this case it would be bitmax colon xbt usd so that's the format if you maintain that format this uh, module should automatically automatically pick up the contents from your file and populate your watch list other than that uh, you could also use uh, this settings tab so there are a couple of views in which you can, which are possible here. So I can, this is the list view that I am in right now, and I can move to the compact view. The compact view will give me the best bid and the best ask. Uh, and here also I could do the same thing. And the thing is, we I could also drag and drop and move this, uh, each of the symbols and order them. And then I also have what I call as the full view. The full view gives you more information, gives you change, change percentage, the bill, uh, the buys and the, uh, the bids and the asks. It also gives you a sense of the day's low and high. So for example, in this case, I can see that it is hovering somewhere near the day's low, right? I can get the maximum number, uh, the total number of buyers and sellers in the books. So there's a lot of things you get from uh, the compact and the full view. Uh, all right, so those are the features in the watch list. If you have any questions, you can reach us on our Discord server, link of which is given here in the description of this video. Let me know if you like it. Thank you.